Hi, welcome to my second tutorial for our test construction set for this series. I'm just going to today show you how to add an actor into the game, uh, NPC into the game, sorry. I just want to start off by going plus on actors on the object window, then plus on imperial, and then go to mail. Select any race here, but uh, imperial's usually the best in the game. And just uh, find a name and just drag him into the window. Move them around, press F to drop drop them to the nearest object. And just move him like you would any other object to uh we want them. Then to uh if you say you want to give him a sword or a shield, double click him, go to edit base, then go to inventory, just select all that and delete it. because uh, most that's useless. Go to items. Uh, let's just give him a weapon, give him a glass. Let's give him a bow. If you do give him a bow, make sure you then go to ammo. And then see this by here, count. Uh, that is how many years. I'll just change that to 500. And then go to armor. I'll just give him something like because I've pretty much encumbered him with them 500 arrows. Um, let's try being a light ring man to see what he does for that. Uh, also here you have many other stuff like stats, which you can change, factions, which is part of uh, spell list, animations, you don't really want to mess with these if you don't know what you're doing, face, it's really helpful to change what it looks like, uh, face advanced, it's basically the same thing, you just need to uh, look through that. Uh, combat style, don't really want to look at that either. Female, just keep him to a male for now. Death item, uh, just leave it as none. And the class, just leave him as noble or whatever the original one was. And the name of the character you want. Then just basically click OK once you're done, fill in with all that. And then OK again. And you can see here, he's equipped what I've told him to. The bow, the arrows, and the arena light ring mount. And now we should walk around, do what the basic script for him is that he's been told to do. Which probably is just wander around randomly. And he will talk to you, but um, make sure if he uh, if he isn't a quest person, because if you go to talk to him, he'll try and talk to you about the quest. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, I'll make another one soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.